Hello everyone, welcome to Mastering Solutions. This momentum problem is wanting to help us solidify the understanding of the formula for momentum. So first off, let's go through and write a list of the variables that we know. So we know the mass of the tennis ball is equal to 57 grams. Now they're trying to make the question a little bit tricky. And one of the ways they're doing this is by uh, some of the word problem tricks here. So they're not giving us the SI units for the mass of the tennis ball. So we have to convert that ourselves. So they give it to us in grams, but we know that the SI units are, for mass are in kilograms. So there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So we need to move the decimal place over three. So one, two, three. So we'll have 0 0.057 kilograms. Now we're in SI units for the mass of the ball. We know the velocity of the ball is served at 45 meters per second. So the velocity of the ball is starting at rest. So this is essentially the final velocity here. The initial velocity is zero meters per second. So they want to know what the impulse is for this problem. So they're asking us to figure out what the impulse is for the ball. The impulse is equal to, so J is equal to the change in momentum. The change in momentum, anything delta or anything change is going to be final minus initial. So P final minus P initial will give us our impulse. So now is where this comes in over here, the initial velocity. So let's break this up even further to solidify our understanding of this. So momentum is mass times velocity. So mass final times velocity final minus mass initial times velocity initial. But our initial velocity is zero. So if we multiply the mass times zero, obviously this whole thing goes away. So we're only left with P final. So the impulse is going to equal the final momentum of the ball. So now that we have that, we have our formula right here. So J, our impulse is going to be equal to the mass final times the velocity final, which is 0 0.057 kilograms. And now we're going to multiply that by the initial velocity, or the, excuse me, the final velocity, which was 45 meters per second. So we have 0 0.057 kilograms times 45 meters per second gives us 2.6 kilograms times meters per second. Or you can also notate impulse by the SI units of Newton seconds. Either one of those is correct, but the answer is 2.6.